Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Welcome back. This will be for Lamentations chapter 3. Remember we mentioned that each one of these is 22 verses, except for this one. It's 66 verses, which is three times 22, isn't it? Okay. Anyway, this chapter contains the writer's individual lament over and his people's distressed condition. His thoughts were expressed in a Hebrew poetic form. In true prophetic vein, the clergist puts himself alongside his countrymen and entreats them to return to the Lord and to seek reconciliation with him. Let them examine themselves in the light of his commandments, which they have transgressed, and let the lifting up of their hands to God in heaven be accompanied by the lifting up of their hearts. Also, i.e., let their prayers be pardoned, or for pardon be true and sincere. Let them know, too, what it feels like to be, be, to be unpardoned, to be under God's judgment still, and they will come to appreciate all the more the wonder of his forgiveness." Still, it would not be easy to obtain pardon. The rest of chapter 3 indicates that in spite of God's unwillingness to hear, the petitioner will continue to plead for relief. Verses 61 to 66 contain a plea that the Lord will also reward Judah's enemies for their harsh and evil ways. And that was all taken from the Institute Manual. I'm going to read just a few verses here since a lot of this is repetitious and we know that they're sorry. Anyway, verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he hear the yoke in his youth, bear the yoke in his youth. Verse 31, For the Lord will not cast off forever, but though he cause grief, Will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies? For he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. Verse 40, Let us search and try our ways, and turn again to the Lord. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto God in the heavens. Anyway, that's the end of the chapter that I'm going to read today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.